Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Corum Admiral's Cup Black Hull 48 Limited Edition. You can see this PVD Titanium Admiral's Cup chronograph on our website. Purchase it there and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional high resolution images, accessories included, and naturally full pricing details. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the Black Hull 48 really lives up to its billing. It's huge, imposing, and monolithic. It's got a little bit of a 2001 vibe to it, but in titanium, it's also reasonably light. So here's the equation. If you like the oversized look, if you're considering something along the lines of a 44 millimeter Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller, or a 45 millimeter Hublot Big Bang, or even a King Power at 48, this watch offers good value, real substance, and a similar visual signature, visual impact on the wrist. Now in terms of bare numbers, they're actually a little bit more reasonable than you might think. Perhaps the most outrageous number is the thickness of this watch. At 18 millimeters, it towers above the wrist. This is not going to clear any kind of cuff. Now from lug to lug, the watch is more tidy than you might expect. 54 millimeters from extremity to extremity means that it's actually in a class across the wrist with watches up to four or five millimeters smaller in diameter. So even on my relatively small wrist, you can see it doesn't really have a big tendency to overhang the edges. So proportionally, it works better than you might think. Now, as big and stark as it is, it's gonna be a polarizing timepiece, but if bigger is better, this is pretty close to as good as it gets from a value standpoint. The watch is 48 millimeters across the nominal round portion of the case from three to nine, but because of the crown guards, crown, and chronograph pushers, the watch really measures larger. Think of this one as a little bit closer to 50 millimeters in diameter. Again, because of the titanium, the watch wears fairly light. Consider it to wear a bit more like a 42 or a 43 in terms of heft. And you'll note that the strap is a very high quality, natural vulcanized rubber. You'll also know that although it conforms to the end of the case, which is to say it follows the flank of the case, follows its contour, and gets rid of all the daylight or the gap between case and strap end, the strap also thrusts down immediately after it departs the edge of the case, so it doesn't have any tendency to flare or fight the curve of your wrist. Again, Corum is one of those brands that understands well that even if you build a supersized watch, you can't count on a supersized customer. Human wrists stay the same size, and this strap works well with that understanding. You'll also note that it features the nautical pennant or Yacht Club burgee shape molded into it. Quorum is a thoughtful design house, if nothing else. The fact is their watches are often design concepts as much as anything else, and they do that well. You'll also note that the pin buckle of this one is oversized, highly stylized, and again, you can see the motif of the nautical pennant in the pin buckle shape, as well as the Quorum double key logo on the pin buckle itself. No design element left uncovered and no design element overlooked. You'll also note there's a beautiful core motif on the underside of the strap, really hammering home how much thought went into this watch aesthetically. Now, it is a dodecagon, so 12-sided. This has been the look of the Admiral's Cup since 1983, and during the 2000s, this is a 2008 limited edition of 666. Devilishly good looking, but during the 2000s, Corum decided to take the Admiral's Cup shape, that dodecagon, and scale it up, and the Hull 48 shape that you see right here is actually a little bit easier to read because it spreads the indications across the dial and although it does have a date, three chronograph registers and subseconds at nine o'clock as well as both indices and Arabic numerals with a core marquee at 12 o'clock, it doesn't look crowded and the faceted 12-sided chapter ring provides a nice visual transition down from the bezel to the dial base. You also note that across the center of the dial, there's a great deal of texture and visual articulation with the dual anchors of small seconds at nine o'clock and chronograph minutes at three o'clock anchoring nicely with chronograph hours a less often referenced register, a little bit more discreet at six o'clock. Now the watch does feature a Valshu 7753, which is to say it has that tri-register chronograph layout, the classic three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock 
layout, but because it is shifted relative to a conventional 7750, Quorum calls this the caliber 753, it features a pusher corrector on the case flank for adjusting the date. Now it does retain many of the core underlying virtues of the 7750, including toughness, efficient unidirectional winding. Underneath this commemorative case back, it has a unidirectional winder that winds in of course one direction, the more efficient method as empirically proven, energizing a 42 hour power reserve. The screwed in case back and screw down crown ensure 300 meter water resistance. So this is a true tough sports watch in every sense. It also features an unusual refinement for the 27 joule 7750 chronograph pusher locks and this is how they work. You pull them in and they secure the chronograph against actuation either due to water pressure, as Richard Mill secures its own chronographs, or due to accidental blows. Now you pull them out and now you can actuate the chronograph functions. This is one of the few cases where I've seen a manufacturer include a special locking mechanism for chronograph pushers for security. To date, I've seen JLC, Richard Mill, and Corum do that. Not bad company for Corum of La Chaux de Fon. You can see this Corum Admiral's Cup Black Hull 48, one of 666 made, and purchase it on our website. Oh,